Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is just a really quick uh, video. Now, we had rotisserie chicken, um, was it yesterday? Uh, and we got two of them from Walmart, inexpensive. And when we were done, we, you know, I took the meat off. What did I make with it? Chicken salad or something? Oh, quesadillas. Um, I saved the carcasses and then what I did was made bone broth. So let me just show you very quickly because this is so much uh, cheaper and tastes so much better than buying it at the store. So I have, like I took the rest, you cannot see. I took the rest of the chicken off uh, out of the bones that I did. This is the bones left. This is the bowl I was doing it in. I know this is, I got shadows and everything else. And this is the bone broth that is cooking down a little bit more that I will strain a little bit better and have clear bone broth. And all I did was took the two carcasses. I took a carrot, onion, celery, and garlic. And I put those in the two carcasses with, I started with about five uh, cups of water. And then I kind of filled it up till there was like a quarter inch left please don't mind my kitchen this is the worst lighting ever um so about maybe like a quarter inch a little bit more half inch on the top so it didn't boil over and I just I brought it up to a boil and I simmered it do not season it the only thing I seasoned it with was thyme sage and parsley and then I just let it cook it's literally been cooking since 10 o'clock this morning it's 1 30 and then when I like I said, after it was done and I was like, oh, okay, it tastes good. Um, I got one of these. I got this from Amazon, but you can get it anywhere. It's just cheesecloth, but it's like a bag and it strains. So I took out all the big pieces. Let me see if I can show you in case you're curious of what it's to look like because it's a mess. So sorry, this is, this is only for my like viewers that love watching me because if not and you just found me, you're not going to want to watch this. Not one of my better ones videoing because I'm doing it myself. That's all the carcass and carrot, celery, blah, 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 right? So I take it out, took out the rest of the meat. I give that to the dogs and um, made sure there was no bones or anything in it. And I took them out a couple of cooked carrots. And then I put it in this, which just could be cheesecloth or whatever. And then I spin it, spin it, spin it. It's a little hot still. And what happens is, look at that. All the rest of this delicious broth comes out and it's just broth. So you're essentially straining it and then it gets in there and then I pour it into the bone broth. So Dave is going for a colonoscopy on Thursday and tomorrow he can only have fluids. So bone broth and I wanted to make it for him because you know, all the nutrients and that kind of thing gives him something to feel like he's eating something even though it's just broth. Um, and like I said, I will put that broth in that strainer to get all their extra stuff out. And then I will have delicious bone broth that he can drink or, uh, whatever's left put in the fridge and I can, uh, make a little soup or something with. So I'm very excited. Uh, that is the excitement here as far as cooking. Um, that's stuff I got out of my garden. You probably can't even see all the jalapenos and tomatoes in there. Um, so yeah, and then I just sauteed, that was a bag of spinach and garlic because I'm going to make uh, chicken breast and then I put that on there with just a little bit of cheese and bake it. It's delicious on the chicken breast and then just some cauliflower rice uh, for dinner. Very, very simple dinner. Uh, like I said, tomorrow he can't eat so it'll just be me and Emily and I think that's it. So it's very, like I said, very easy. And if you see, this is, and we cleaned the bones. Please do not pay mind. I'm in the middle of cooking and doing a million things. Um, this is a lot of chicken left for, you know, stripping the bones. Plus I've been feeding my dogs uh, all the other pieces that I get out. So, um, yeah, so they've had a really good day in my dirty sink. All right, so I hope this helps a few of you. It's very easy. I just put a little olive oil in the pan. I threw in the carrots, the onions, the celery. And sometimes if I only have like little baby carrots or just like a couple sad looking carrots or celery, I'll use those. Um, you can also roast them in the oven if you want it even more, but I didn't feel like doing that. Threw it all in the pan, like I said, with the carcasses 
and then you can do beef bones as well uh, and then just leave a cook and now I'm leaving it cook down just a little bit more um, and then I'll season it and she will be running to go so I hope you enjoyed this horribly made video I love you guys so very much and as always please be kind to each other you never know about how somebody else is fighting love you see you in my next video bye bye